Howdy folks, Shabby's back, and he's back to hopefully make it to the farmhouse this time, and take all the moose meat with us, and then hopefully start the, repair the tower, start the signal void stuff, well not start it, but do the third leg of it, okay, let's go, nailed it, great intro Shabby, well done. All right, if I remember correctly, it's almost sunrise, and we have clear weather right now, so I'm going to chill here for just a little bit until we get, uh, till the sun comes up, try to get a mag lens. I think all of our fare is in order here. We have all of our stuff ready to go. All our chorn is done. We have no, um, we have no, oh, we have some, we have some birch on the ground here. Curin. That's it. Oh, look at this. We have three. I gotta keep an eye on that. Three is two. I need, I need a couple more. <laughs> I don't like to have three. It's not good. This is past time. Okay. Oop. Let's see what we get here. Oh yeah. Okay. I always like to peek around the corner just in case there's a wolf. Weird noises. Just the wind, Shabby. Just the wind. On, Don't be sir. afraid. Oh, Ten. yeah. Okay. Astrid is excited. I'm, I'm liking that. If Astrid is excited, so am I. Okay, let's get some teas going. And then... Let's see. Oh yeah, we don't need water. Okay. Um. Shoot. Let's go inside real quick. I know I have water in here. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab these too. Moose. That's just gonna stay here because we don't need it. I don't know why I got that. I got this habit. It's just like, oh, you have to get the hide. You know, but we don't really don't need those hides. All right, make a couple things of tea, and then we'll go. Ooh, we can. Well, we don't need. We don't need that. Pepper's pie. No, it doesn't really help either in this situation. Okay. All right, let's go back. We're gonna do some, we're gonna do, uh, oh, we have, okay. All right, keep those from burning, and then. Oh, sure getting cold. Let's go in here. Stay warm. Okay. All right, I just want to take a little, a little idea of what my tea situation is. I'm going to have to start making more teas, I think. Yeah, okay, we're out of, we're out of, uh, this is all we have right here. And then the three or four teas of rose hips. Um, okay, yeah, I just need to pick a little bit more and make some more. That's all. No, no big deal. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's grab our meat and go. I want to drink that rose hip. 
There we go. Boom. Let's drink this one down too. I did it right. Oops, my bad. Okay, stop clicking so much, Shabby. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, we have a cold one. Okay. Mess that up. Probably not going to need it. Well, I don't know. Actually, it is pretty damn cold, so maybe we do. I wonder if I can drop any of this here. Alright, that'll keep us going for a bit. What's our weight? Let's see. 53. Okay, let's grab, we'll grab one more. Let's grab one more. I'm going to drop this raw one here. Let me pick these up. Alright, let's go. Okay. Now we're doing it. Now we're doing it. Beautiful morning. Two beautiful mornings in a row. I love it. I can't feel my hands. No Travoy, though. I saw kind of a funny thing yesterday. It was uh, just... Kind of more of a coincidence, I guess. But, um... Thank goodness. Made it through another night. I went to the... I went to a restaurant, and... On the... Outside of the restaurant, on a door... There's a... Like a placard... That said, uh... The, the, the general... The manager, or whatever, of the... Of the restaurant, and... Too heavy to carry. The person's name was Travis Vinoy... And I just thought it was kind of funny because it kind of sounds like Travoy. If you if there was ever a name that was close to Travoy, it would be Travis Vinoy. And uh, I don't know, a couple days ago, people were in chat were talking about accidentally calling the Travoy Travis. So I don't know. It was funny to me. It was funny to me. Maybe a couple people will chuckle at that. I don't know. This was my fir this fire pit right here was the f my first use of the travoy with the first moose that we killed and it was just too heavy and then I ended up just cooking it up right here most of it memories oh memories I was such a young naive shabby back then oh so cold. Okay, we'll be lucky if this torch makes it. Oh, that's getting, I'm getting a little weird lag. I don't know what's going on. Oh, can run. Let's just run. I want to get over there before this fire goes out. We did hear a wolf howling somewhere. It's way over there. doesn't appear to smell us. Oh. That one does, though. <laughs> Alright, I think maybe walk the dog might be... Might be the way to go here. I can just keep this, this wolf's aggro. not in a headwind so we can just stay out in front of this wolf no problem oh, it's still still back there okay 
Okay, we got wolves in front of us too, but I think if we keep this wolves wolves aggro, we should be should be totally fine. Careful here. I don't want to. I think if you just come face to face with the wolf, it, it'll still get you. Even if you don't have aggro. I have seen it happen. I don't know if that's a guaranteed or not. And we got one wolf out there. Okay. Looks like we're all clear. We're good. Let's keep my line of sight here. Make sure there's no. One coming around the corner. All right. No problem. Oh look, look, we do have food here. Okay. Ah, oh, look at all this food here. Okay, never mind. I take it all back. <laughs> I was totally wrong. Totally wrong. Oop. Okay. All right, and then we have some of the... Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, we need to get some metal, don't we? Ooh, and a car battery. And I'm not sure if there's one up there or not. I bet there is, though. I'm pretty sure... No, 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 there's one up there. I think I remember. I remember. There's a car battery up there. We're, we're good on that. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, we got one maple. Oh, no. One maple here. One maple. <laughs> Damn it. That's too bad. That's 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 too bad. Look at all these oats. We gotta make camber flight porridge. We got too many oats not to make camber flight porridge. Got our well stocked kitchen. Oh baby. Wonderful. Drop peaches. Our peaches have come home. Peaches are home, folks. We're going to make some delectable dishes with all these peaches. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, uh, this. Oh, man. Oop. There we go. Okay. Put it away, shit. Put it away. Pest. Check your stash holes for more maples. Ooh, good idea. I think I left them all out though, but yeah, I'm, I will go down. I will go down by the workbench and just, just to make sure. No, uh, hey, Pest, welcome in. Welcome in. We made it back. This is the uh, this is the original base right here. This is the original base. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. Ooh, we should make some pepper, pepper's pie too. I plan on going over to uh, Black Rock uh, before we go back to Forsaken Airfield. So I want to make some prepper's pie. Maybe if I can get some briar house going, that would might that might be a good idea too. But it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> you got to get you got to get three animals, three different animals. Um, so it's it's a little bit more involved. Okay, we have two pots here. That's it. That's all I could rustle up on my journeys. Is just another another pot. That's it. I'm trying to think where I have pots. I have obviously two here. I have one at Coastal Highway. And then I think a couple at the Mountain Town Farmhouse. And then maybe one at Broken Railroad. I think that's it. There's got to be more pots out there. I don't know. I don't know where all the pots are. 63% on that. Okay. Um, we do need to take the prior bar. Well, we'll come back here. We're going to do, we're going to do signal void and then we'll come back here and then we'll, and then we'll prepare for our trip. Let's go downstairs and see if there's not a hidden maple somewhere. Otherwise, <clears throat> Travoy is just not going to happen. Not going to happen anytime soon. 
I think about that would be the fourth travoy. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> it's morning. It's morning. I'm still things are still working its way out. Uh, looks like we just got birch here. I think. We'll, we'll also make some more arrows before we go to Black Rock. We'll just we'll we'll prepare. We'll prepare for Black Rock. Nothing in the drawer. Okay. Pies are a lot like sandwiches, and I prefer my sandwiches to have at least two different dead animals on them. <laughs> uh. Okay. All right. There's nothing. Okay. There's really nothing to do. I mean, we want. I mean, I might want to cook. Let's go outside and see if we can get a mag lens going. And then, uh, I don't have the fuel. I need to think about fuel, too. I have no sticks here, of course. No sticks. We do need to get cloth. Let's go ahead and just do that right now. Make a bandage. I think what we should do is just get fuel set up for cooking and then uh because we don't really need food right now we don't have to cook we can, we can cook after we do signal void so let's just let's just worry about fuel right now i'm gonna go downstairs and get some of these boxes yeah i have a few things in the fridge um this is more like my small items probably some whetstones actually now that i think about it Might want to grab a couple of those. All right, it sounds like we got some weather out there. Okay. Um, that'll probably be good. That'll probably be good. There's plenty of stuff to break down in here. Again, I was wanting, I kind of want to save some of my furniture in here just in case, you know, we're allowed to base. I don't think we'll let, I don't think they'll let us base in here or like, you know, um, you know, where you can arrange furniture and stuff like that. But I, in case they do, I want to save all this furniture just in case, you know, I don't know. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, I don't want to, I don't want to just destroy something if it's going to be useful later. Aesthetically useful. Okay, that's our cooking. That's our cooking fuel right there. Um, all right, dude. While I'm thinking about, it, let's go ahead and craft a bandage because we need that. Let me see. Let's see what's in the fridge. Let's let's check out the fridge real quick. Let's take a little take a little inventory here. Okay, yeah, we have two whetstones. Oh man. Okay, I do want to grab one of them. Um, I think our. I think we have plenty of sewing kits. Yeah. That's good. Three wet stones. That's that's no problem there. Actually, probably probably don't even need two. Is probably enough for right now. And then I have some of this stuff. Okay, thirty six cattails. All right, it's okay. It's not well stocked, but it's not bad either. I do want to take these potatoes are coming back to. I'm gonna make fish recipes with the potatoes because i think the the two fish recipes dock workers and i haven't grabbed the other one yet um coastal fish cakes i think they both have potatoes as sort of the you know the binding agent if you will <laughs> so we're gonna save potatoes for fish dishes and not and not do the stews because I really don't think the stew. I might. I might just keep one potato, just you know, just to have a stew, a ranger stew made, and that's it. Just for show. Just for show. And then there's two and potatoes in this one. I don't know, man. I just kind of want to say I made them. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Tudor, twenty three. How's it going? Welcome in. Welcome in. I'm just deliberating on my on what to make, you know. 
what kind of dishes we want to make with our with our limited supplies. Um, okay, I think we can go on up to uh, depend on the weather here. Let's go on up to go on up to that guy who the uh, oh wait I need I need to get some metal I need metal three of those and two wires I think I think that's all you need and then the metal five metal we have three metal okay I'm so I'm so sad that we only have we have three maples and not four because I really want to have another travoy made here but it's not not happening not happening we don't need to take this deer hide either let's take that let's drop that I don't have any guts here really I got two guts I did not shit past shabby was not he wasn't really thinking ahead was he Okay, where's some metal? Hmm. Lights. I'm just talking about destroying things in this house that I don't want to do. Wait, there's... Oh, wait, there's metal at the... There's freaking metal at the... At the... What the hell is that place called? Uh, Signal Hill. <laughs> we got metal up there. So that's, that's fine. We're good. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'll grab some water and we'll get out of here. Yeah, all right, that's good. Shabno Hill. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. I don't know if you'll think this is funny or not. I'm not sure if this is funny, but I went to a restaurant last night and they had a, there was a, a placard on the door. I've already told the story uh, when the stream first started. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling it again, but I'm telling it for you, Pess. But there, there was a placard on the, by the door of the restaurant and it said owner or manager, Travis Vinoy. And it struck me that that was about as close of a name as you could possibly get to Travoy. So, anyways, I thought it was funny. Like, wow, that's like, that's almost like that person's name is pretty much Travoy. Okay, anyways, it's dumb. I know, that's dumb. Let's fill up before we go. All right. Okay. Off we go. Let's take one steak. Let's take a steak. You called him Travoy, naturally. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I did. Shook his hand. You know, pleasure to meet you, Tra Travoy. I'm shabby. All I got was a confused look. That was it. It's re really strange. I just heard a wolf howl, but I have no idea. I wasn't really paying attention where that was coming from. <laughs> Pest just said, would you mind carrying this moose for me? That's hilarious. I don't know why, but uh, the the bear. I haven't I haven't seen too many bears in Pleasant Valley for some reason. You know, on I haven't really spent a ton of time in the zone, but I mean, we spent a significant amount of time wait like trying to find a bear early on in this run and only found the one by the barn and that is really weird for Pleasant Valley because usually there's bears all over the place Rootbeard howdy welcome in welcome 
Jabby's back. Jabby is back. So we'll see. There might be a bear here, but I think I think I checked this cave. You know, this is one of the things I wanted to do on this run was mark these caves as active or inactive bear caves. And I think I checked this cave. No, there's no bones in this one. Okay. No bones. Alright, but the one by the plane crash is active. Because I was camping that bear for a while and it just never showed up. I'm very short of PV bears on my current run as well. Really? Okay, I don't know. Maybe something's up with that. Bears have been scarce in PV for sure. Okay, we're getting some... Some... Corroboration? Collaborate? Collaborate? Collaboration? <laughs> I don't know. I made both of my bear co coats out of the Mystery Lake Bears. Yeah, that wasn't... That's usually what I do too, but obviously I can't do that on this run. Yeah, that's usually part of my just my... Again, this was sort of the whole idea behind this run was to break up my routine and yeah it's very much part of my routine is to uh is to heal the two bears in mystery lake first before i go and get the technical backpack unless of course i spawn in ash canyon or something like that shira sh okay hang on show brawn elation shabron elation I gave it a shot. I don't know. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I call this sprained ankle hill because you can't get up this hill without sprained ankle. It's impossible. Not gonna happen. Oh, I'm hearing some clucking. Here we go, folks. Let's see. I'm gonna drop this meat. Switch this out. Let's get some. Let's get some ptarmigan. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Alright, we can creep up really close. So I don't miss. Sometimes when I get too close, I miss, though. So I don't know. Gotta be careful. Trust the dot. Trust the dot. You kidding me? Shot too high. Okay. Alright, alright. Let's try it again. There we go. All right, we're just slaying them now. I think I was a little too. Okay. Okay now. This is kind of overkill, but that's all right. All right, we got him. We got him. Oh. Oh. Slow down, Shabby. Slow down. I was about to say, where's my s oh, okay. <laughs> I thought this was my steak for a second. Like, what's going on? Shoot at their to toes. Yeah. I re yeah, it's a learning process. I had two moose and Mr. Lake on my main run, but died yesterday on day 7-68? Oh, no. Oh, no, Root Beard. I'm so sorry to hear that. That sucks. Oh, Tudor. Oh, yeah, those are those are tarm again. Those are tarm again. Yeah, they're tiny. You really the main things with uh, really don't you really don't get them for the calories. I mean, you kind I mean, sort of, but really the feathers are the best part about them. And then um, also broth. You can make broth with the tarm again, and then you can make other stews with the broth. Even though I don't really make a lot of stews. I mean, the one time I've made broth on this run, I just drank it. <laughs> I just drank the broth. <laughs> it did come in handy, though. I mean, it was useful. Yeah, Rootbeard's a big proponent of broth. I remember you. I remember you telling me about that. Uh. 
So no signal hill bear then. Okay. Well. Not, not a terrible thing. Broth is tarmings that don't smell. Oh, they don't, it, broth doesn't smell. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. That is a, that's a, that's an advantage for sure. I'm just putting them out there so I don't forget. Okay. Now please tell me there's a battery in here. Did I... Wait a minute. I could have sworn I saw a battery in here. Oh, there it is. I just It's just dark. It's just dark in here. Oh, thank God. Okay. We need two metal. I usually get these control boxes up here. First soon. It only takes 15 minutes. I, th I think 15 minutes is your best, like, time increment for getting metal things. That's, that's like the... If you can get, like, you know, two... Like, for example, you can get two metal in 30 minutes. You know, that's, that's the rate you want to shoot for. You know, one metal per 15 minutes. Um... We got two here. Let's probably... I might I might want some more metal. One kilogram of ptarmigan equals 450 calories. But broth is 0.8 kilograms and is 680 calories and can be heated and stored in a flask. Okay. Yeah, obviously better. Obviously a better, better trade there. time is it okay all right we need to get 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 moving i think combat boots hey i didn't really even hear anything in here did i looted we've looted this place did i have a pry bar with me <laughs> That's okay a no lock lockers okay um yeah let's go ahead and take care of this ankle Okay. All right, let's go on and I'm not going to be able to carry this load. Put our put our uh lineman skills to use here. Cuz Astrid used to used to work as a lineman for the county back in the day. I always say lineman just because it's like a country country song. That's all. <laughs> just for just so you know. I don't know if it's probably an archaic term at this point. Okay. Metal? Alright. Plus, salt is fairly common. Yeah, salt is common and it lasts for... It seems to last forever. I don't know if I've gone through a whole jar of salt yet. You can make 25 jars of broth per salt shaker. Okay. Well, well, we'll make some broth for sure. I have to take all this stuff back down to the farmhouse though because I don't have my pot with me or anything. Okay, so, Tudor, this... So, I don't know how long ago it's been at this point. Probably a year. About a year ago, they added... Um, a, a, um, I don't know if you call it a quest. They added a quest to survival mode. And it was called Signal Void. And Signal Void is sort of... It plays into the whole, you know, the whole backstory to this world we live in. And, oh my god, it's been two years? No, no, it's been a little over... Okay, a little over a year. December 4th, 2022. Um, did I turn it on? almost forgot you gotta turn it on here okay so it plays into the whole backstory to this world we live in here great bear island and and like the the you know the the mysterious goings ons of of great bear island and so i don't know i'll try to I'm, i've never had to summarize this um but basically you you repair these you repair these transmitter towers and then you have this radio that only works during aurora 
And this radio helps you locate bunkers. And in the bunkers, you can, you know, you can sort of find these reports that they reveal a little bit of the story, a little bit, but not much. But it is sort of like it just plays into the sort of, sort of the whole back backstory of of this. I hope I, exp- I hope it's sort of get, give you a basic idea of of what of what this is. Um, but it's really cool. I mean, it's, it basically gives you something to do um, in, in survival mode as opposed to just sort of wandering around and just finding things to do for yourself. Um, you know, inventing kind of storylines and stuff, which is what, you know, I don't mind doing that either. It's just like, this is kind of a fun thing to do while you're surviving, you know, it makes quests go brr. (laughs) Okay. I'm gonna get some more coffee real quick. And then, um, Maybe we'll, maybe we'll sleep for an hour. Have get our, give ourselves a little bit more energy. Oh wait, I could do something with these ptarmigans, couldn't I? Let's break down these ptarmigans. I still need to get more coffee though. Hang on, we got some in in real life needs as well. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Are there multiple of those? Yeah, well, yeah, I'll tell you in just a sec. There are. There's like, there's four total. I mean, I don't want to spoil anything for you, uh, Tudor, but there are, there's, um, there are, once you get the radio in Forsaken Airfield, yeah, Rootbeard, there are, there's six towers to repair. Okay, feel free to spoil, okay. Um, all right, while we're breaking down these tarmigans, I'll try to, I'll try to do this. <laughs> feel free to jump in, Rootbeard, or Pest, and explain as well, um, but... So there's, there's, um, you go to Forsaken Airfield and you get the radio and then that opens up, um, these objectives that you can do, which is repair three towers. One of them is in Pleasant Valley. One of them is in, um, one of them is in Mountain Town and and another one is in Forsaken Airfield, but the bunkers can be in like, so the bunker Oh my God. Okay. And then there's bunkers associated with each of those towers. I won't, I won't go into where they are and stuff. You'll figure all that stuff out later. (laughs) It's not that important, but, um, you use the radio during, so whenever you turn the, uh, whenever you repair the transmitter, it, it, it active, it, it causes an Aurora to occur. And then you can use the radio to locate the bunker, which is, you'll see us doing it. We're we're about to do it. We're going to do it here in just a couple minutes. So you'll see how it works. Oscar, welcome, welcome. And then once you do the three here in this part of the world, then you have to go back to Forsaken Airfield and do the fourth one. And that sort of, that concludes the Signal Void quest line. And, um, and then just recently, a couple months ago, they added, um, another quest line that's sort of like it's, uh, part two of the quest line. And it's all in the new zone of contamination. And you have to use the radio to find things in that as well. Um, I think there's a, is there, there's not, there's kind of a bunker, but it's no, it's not really, there's not really a bunker in that one. It's more just in like a mine shaft, I guess. It's pretty cool though. I enjoy it. Yeah, they added a new region called the Zone of Contamination, and it's it's pretty it's pretty difficult. It's got different kind. It's got these toxic wolves that aren't always afraid of fire, so they can be a little can be a little touch and go sometimes with the wolves. <laughs> 
and then Rootbeard said there's six towers, uh, transmitter towers. There's two more towers. One of them is in Black Rock, and one of them is in Desolation Point. And the towers you can also you'll see us uh, when we're using the radio. There's two modes to the radio. Uh, to uh, there's there's this one which is finding the caches, finding the the bunkers. And then there's another mode where you're, if you look down on my lower right, <clears throat> lower right corner, that sim that white symbol there, that means there's, there's also these little hidden caches where there's on an interloper, there's usually like a stick or a pair of socks, you know, just worthless stuff most of the time. Um, but you can find uh, caches as well, but this is for bunkers. This, this mode is for bunkers here. Okay. I, I stumbled all over that explanation, but sorry. I hope I hope it wasn't too confusing. Oh yes, I was wondering if we we're gonna get a mag lens or not. I think we had like a couple seconds left on getting that mag lens. Come on, little fire. And of course, I don't have a pot. Otherwise, I can make some broth right now. Damn it. I kind of wanted to save all this stuff for, um... Save all this stuff for... Broth. And, and other recipes. Just not cook it. I think it's better if you just... If for other... If you... Your, your explanation wasn't too shabby. <laughs> I saw some content with a gas mask. Yeah, that's in the zone of contamination. That's like, that That one's called Buried Echoes. Yeah. It's it's cool. It's cool. I like that one too. Uh, new afflictions like insomnia, scurvy. Yeah, they added that stuff into the game as well. Yeah. It's a pretty big update. This, this most recent one. Um... Yeah, so we're just waiting for the Aurora to pop on right now. Um, and we don't have to wait here. We could wait down closer to where the bunker is if we wanted to. I kind of wanted to get down there and then we can drop this stuff off on the road. And that way we're not like attracting any unwanteds. Nefarious characters out there. Let's make some water. Oh my gosh. What's happening? There we go. Okay. Hmm. No, I want to have some teas to drink here. The new Glimmer Fog has the same effect as an Aurora. Yeah, that's right. But it's during the daytime. It only occurs in the new zones. Yeah, and the Glimmer Fog will also activate the radio as well. <laughs> you purchased the DLC back in 2022, but haven't played the new content. I can barely survive on Stalker without any other weird effects and Toxic Wolves. Yeah, I mean... Uh, it's what you always have that thing out there. Like once you sort of uh, get to a place where you're comfortable, then you can move on to the to this stuff. It's I mean you can do it on a lower difficulty mode too if you wanted to. There's options. Sorry about that. I just hit my mouse. Should be making these rose hips actually. 19 minutes till boiled, okay. Feels like night is coming. Alright, let's get going. Grab some torches. Oh man, I'm having some weird like lag for some reason. I don't know.
I mean, these torches are kind of pointless. You can't have a torch going if you have the radio out. And then they don't really work against Aurora Wolves anyways, so... Alright, let's head on down. Let's take a little, let's take a little, little look at, we can already hear the roar starting up. Let's see. Let's drop that. I just want to take a view. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, man. Yeah, you don't get, you don't get this too often. It's great. And we could map the Polaroid, but I'm saving that. That's going to be, you know, again, like I was saying, finding stuff to do. I usually do on these long runs. I haven't done a lot of long runs, but I like to, on, on my long runs, I like to, you know, just have things to do. Like my little mini quests, missions. And one of my missions is to, to map. So I, 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 I'm saving the Polaroid stuff for after we're, we're done with Signal Void. So that'll be later on in the game. If we survive, of course. Yeah, these are good torches. I did, I did pull out some good torches this time. Any tips on learning the harder maps like AC? I only know Mystery Lake, PV, Coastal Highway, Desolation Point, and, and uh, Timberwolf Mountain? Ish. <laughs> uh, Ash Canyon, let's see my tips for Ash Canyon. Hmm. Well, I'll just tell you the route that I go through Ash Canyon. Oh my God! All right, we gotta fix that because we might need to. We might need to shoot a, shoot somebody. Shoot somebody. Shoot a wolf. Oh man, my brain today. Let's see, Ash Canyon. I usually go so. I would, I would just learn the map. I would learn the map. That would be my tip for Ash Canyon. And you can learn it two ways, in my opinion. There might be other ways, but like, this is my two ways of learning a map is you can lower the difficulty and then just wander around. And just learn the map that way, or you can actually go online and find one of those find one of those you know pre those I don't know online map I don't know what they're called they're called snow snowberry or something like that I can't remember but you know back in the day when I first started that's how I learned Ash Canyon was I just got them I got an online map and I just looked at it <laughs> But I'm kind of a map nerd anyways, though, so I really like, I get into that stuff. Oh, look at those, uh, those maples, or, no, those are probably birch. Okay, we don't need birch. We don't need birch. We're coming back up this way anyways, later. You printed some of those? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're cool. Absolutely. Actually, there's one, there's one Ash Canyon map that's out there that's really elaborate. It's not the typical ones that you see. Make a throwaway pilgrim guy. So Pest said, make a throwaway pilgrim guy and scout them. That's how I learned HRV on day one. I mean, I mean, in retrospect, like now that I've, I'm really comfortable with this game. That would be my, that would be my advice on how to learn the maps is just to get a lower difficulty uh, run going and then just just go in there and just and then just run around and learn it I think uh, Zach's advice was to just try to survive for 20 days in a region on a lower difficulty and you'll learn you'll know it like the back of your hand so here's the radio now it's it's not this this Aurora is not powerful enough yet to activate the radio. 
radio, so it's... I mean, it's on, but it's not, like, picking up a signal yet. It's got to be more powerful. That's good advice, too, Rootbeard. Custom mode, remove the wolves, extend the days. Yeah, you can, like, sort of tailor make it to, you know, however, you know, however settings you want. You see how the radio's not lit up yet? Once that lights up, I bet this radio's gonna start working. Let's pick some cattails while we're out here. Why not? Not lit up. Okay. Gotta be careful about wolves. <laughs> Can't be too lackadaisical here. Now I think this I think the bunker's up there. Pretty sure. not lit up. It's still not lit up. Let's just check. No. Nope. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Now look. See, it's on. Radio tower's on. Alright. And so, whenever the signal's strongest, the, the needle on the radio will be all the way to the right. So when you're pointing at it, the, the needle will be all the way to the right. So it's up that way. So I'll just leave that. I'll leave that torch down there. So you can see how this thing like kind of zeroes in. How do you know how do we know you didn't turn on the radio tower by turning on the radio? <laughs> that's how much power. That's how much power we have here. We turned on the radio tower. That was kind of cool. It's right because I, I like I turn my back and then I turn and I got the radio out and then I turn back around and the radio was and the tower was on. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe that did turn the radio tower on. Okay, if you you'll notice that lump. Yeah, we're in bunker mode right now. You'll, you'll notice the lump of snow in front of us. That's the bunker right there. This is cache mode. We're not near any caches, so it's not getting any signal. And there you go. And that's it. Down we go. Get the cool music and everything. All right, let's let's go ahead and just shed some light on the situation. I'll, I'll use match. Of course. You know, Rootbeard. Sorry, Rootbeard. I, I don't have a lantern. No lantern. <laughs> There's not a ton of loot in here. Oh yeah, there was a little controversy too about this. Was um, I was just loot? The when I said loot, it reminded me of uh, of this. There was a little bit of controversy because. Um, I think when they first released it, the this was not available to, for on Interloper, and uh, yeah, people were up in arms. They were up in arms about that. Um, is that how it was? I don't know. If I'm if I'm not right about that, let me know. Do I 
we need the... I don't know if we need this wire. Yeah, let's grab it. I don't know why there's a battery in here. I mean, it's like... Okay. I guess maybe... I'm not sure. I'm not sure why you would need a battery now at this point. Yeah, the community kind of got ticked off about it, and then so they didn't. So this is a this is a report that we'll look at in just a bit. I'm gonna loot first, and then we'll. That's part of the quest. This little report here is part of the quest. I'll do that here in just a sec. Let me loot real quick. Yeah, this the, the this, the bunkers are um Yeah, okay, yeah. Root beer's giving you the right info. I can't can't seem to get this door. Okay. Oh there it is, okay. It's what in the sweet spot. I appreciate you all like filling in my, my the gaps there and that because I I have a hard time like like explaining things clearly whenever I'm also like trying to do a million other my brain is all is like constantly trying to like figure out like what do I need to do right now what do I have to do here um so I appreciate you guys like helping out there on the explanation this is the other thing that we have to look at right here. We got some corn. I still have not found any ham, and I'm really disappointed about that. I mean, where the hell's the ham? Am I just missing it? I mean, on my last run, I got two, at least two cans of ham. I mean, we might have to wait. We have to go into the zone of contamination just for ham. Yeah, there's no ham in here. Damn it. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. See, I, I have a I have a thing that I'd like to see them add to the game is um this this dish called red eye gravy. And if you if you don't I just recently learned what red eye gravy is and it sounds it sounds it's a it's a weird thing. It is basically it's country ham with coffee. That's what red eye gravy is. So you could make, I mean, we have the components to make red-eye gravy in this game. If we had the ham and your, and your coffee, you got, you, got, you got it right there. You're good to go. You want rice in the game? Yeah, that would be good too. Okay, here, let's, let's do this. I think I got one can of ham in Alpha, and it was, we ran and that was it. We ran Rudiger's okay. machine for the first time yesterday. It was nothing like what they predicted, even at half energy. I still have no Tutor, idea Tudor, this, this is kind of the main character of the, the of the project. quest line this is the security and chief her name's like few of the men building it do either it's all over their faces something ski like Levinsky or something like that isn't helping their morale, but she's I'm the security our chief fragile truce will hold until we're finished we worked hard to make it this far after what happened to team three <laughs> but afterwards impossible to say all right Okay, and then this is like a psychology report, or a psychiatric report, whatever you say, I don't know, uh, or evaluation. Um, I always say that this this person sounds like Nick Offer Offerman to me, but uh, this is kind of a, a head-scratcher. <laughs> this one's a head-scratcher. Session 12, Project Medical Officer interviewing Patient 7. Back to the third instance. Find a bridge between them. Trying to. <laughs> okay. It starts the same as every other time. A dark room. Square. I feel the wall behind He kind of talks about his dreams. It's like a dream analysis or something. The walls to the right and left. It's smooth. Like steel or glass. I can't see the wall opposite me. It's too dim. I walk forward and that's when I notice it. 
every time. The pit. Just a, a hole in the floor. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny, the floor seems to slope a little bit as it reaches the edge. But the floor is made of bricks. Bricks that start to bend, best I can tell. In the end, the last image you can remember? <laughs> That's when it shows up. What shows up? What? Can you describe it? <laughs> From across the pit, where the other wall should be, something darker than everything around it, sort of floating. It moves to the edge of the hole. No face. Just a moving shape. With the head of Abraham Shadow. Lincoln. Is it me? My face? God damn it. That's Nick for sure. Man, <laughs> Not today, you new world jack with Fuck <laughs> again. If, if you really want like to hear someone break, like really try to dissect what this interviews are, it's Zach does a very, Zach is a, uh, he's a professor of psych, he's a, he's a psychology professor. Um, I don't know where he teaches, but, um, he, uh, he really breaks these down very well. I feel like, I think that's the sound like rat Raph doing an impression of a voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> is does he do any of the voice voices? Are you you're just joking? I know you're just joking, probably, but still, I was like, maybe maybe not. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Zach the long yeah. He's a he's on YouTube. He has lots of YouTube videos. Um, yeah, that guy. Exactly. He if you find some of his videos where he's doing the signal void stuff, he really will, will break down the. The, psych, the, the psychological evaluation stuff uh, better than anybody else I've seen. I mean, I just kind of ignore it because it just sounds like I just like it's too confusing. I can't like I can't make heads or tails of it. So I'm just like okay, it's whatever it is. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, let's get some food and then we're gonna sleep here tonight and then we'll go back to the farmhouse. I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have to wrap up here. I got some stuff going on here at the house. I gotta take care of. Uh, let's just eat a little candy bar, a couple of cattails, and call it a night. I guess we'll make one of the dishes with corn. I think the, um, which one is it? This one needs, this one needs corn, right? Okay. We'll make this. I guess we'll use our three potatoes. We'll make our two stews, and then the rest of the potatoes are for fish dishes. I have waffles to make. You mean uh, French toast? <laughs> uh, okay. Last question. Did the bunkers stay forever after you discover them and can, and can you randomly stumble upon them before repairing the towers? Uh, yeah, I know. I got you. Uh, no, you can't. You can't open the towers. You can't open the bunkers unless you have the radio and have repaired the towers. As far as I know, I haven't tested that, but I'm almost positive you can't. You can't do it unless you're, you have the radio and I have a repaired tower. Um, but the bunk, but the static bunkers, yeah, you, those are always in the same place, and they're always going to be there. And there's going to be three of them that have uh, stuff in them on 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 um, anything other than interloper. Um, okay, let's sleep. No, the the bunker stay. The bunker stay. Yeah. Well, so yeah. Once you. F Sorry. I, maybe I didn't read your question all the way. Did the bunker stay forever? At yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. You're. I. I answered that wrong. Yes. The bunkers always are, will be here. You can always ac access them after you discover them. Um, and in fact, um, one of the bunkers is in H Hush River Valley. And it has a workbench in it. So there's a workbench in Hush River Valley now after you discover the bunker.
I'm kind of glad I slept for nine hours instead of ten there because I really was not paying attention to my <laughs> to my. I don't want to lose well fed. I almost lost well fed there. Um, okay. All right. Can we get out of here? That's the question. Can see, can see a little bit here. Okay, here's the hallway. Okay, we didn't leave anything in here except for the car battery. Okay, so that's fine. I can stay in here as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we're back in the bedroom here. Okay. Stop breathing, Astrid. I can't see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No, no, no. Sorry. I don't know if I... I don't know. I might be... No, no. This bunker will stay here. This bunker will stay here. You you can always come back to this bunker. I don't know why you'd come back to this bunker. The one in Hush River Valley is pretty useful, though. We could get a mag lens if we wanted to. All right, nothing wrong with that. Let's do that. I listen to myself sometimes after um, Come on, little fire. Come after on. I stream, and I'm like, "Oh my god, I just said the I, I said I said that completely wrong." <laughs> so uh, my my apologies if I'm like confusing sometimes because sometimes I just miss I misspeak. But pest will keep me in check. Pest and root beer will keep me in check. Uh, Yeah, they added these flasks, too, to the game. These are new. The, the zone of contamination, when that came, when that was um, introduced, this these were also brought into the game. These flasks. And there's I think there's eight. I, I want to say there's eight of them that you can find. This one's the cool one, though. This is Wheels Flask right here. And the Travoy. Yes, the Travoy is... We can't forget about the Travoy. Cannot forget about the Travoy. No. Do not forget about the Travoy. Travoy was very, a very cool addition. Alright, yeah, let's make some tea. Let's just let's make some tea. If I have enough water, I'm not sure. Oop. Yeah, the sled is really awesome. Really awesome. Well, we don't have enough room to drink all these teas, unfortunately. be a little blustery day so we're gonna have to go back and get the tarm again yeah it's craftable uh, I I hate you need four really maples and a deer hide and a couple of guts I think one gut okay and you repair it with a deer hide and a gut so once you use those four maples then you're you're set as far as it goes And I don't know for sure, but I have heard people say that they did add more maples into the game to compensate for the for the materials for the travoy. Oops, I accidentally picked that. Oh well, that's all right. Uh, I forgot to put these into the flask. Let's do that real quick. So you put them in there. I'm gonna actually pull one out because I want to drink one. This is so cold. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to or not though. I I, lay down for a I'm bit. completely hydrated now. Yeah, 
here comes some weather. Maples used to regrow after some time right now. No, they don't regrow. I don't think there's anything that regrows. Once you forage it, it's it's gone. The 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 birch bark I guess as far as like a quote unquote forageable thing. That's the only thing that um, that will respawn. Man, I could eat anything. Yeah, anything that you harvest, I guess. Anything that you harvest is not gonna come back. Yeah, nothing regrows. We live in a finite world here. It always ends the same way. You're gonna die at some point. Wait. I'm so cold and warm and Beach combing has made uh, made the game a little bit more you know, you can definitely extend your, your life quite a bit. I don't know, I think there is, like, if you really wanted to go hardcore, I guess you probably could survive forever. Uh, but, I mean, that's, I mean, who wants to do that? Who wants to live forever? Isn't that the, isn't that the same? Okay, I think we got all the, all that. Alright, I'm gonna go up here and grab these birch. Sure, I didn't miss them. Are they? Oh, they're further down that way. All right. Well, we'll get them on our way to Black Rock. It's all right. I don't know all the mechanics with the animal respawn either. Um, Or you don't mean like as far as like common sense or like a, a real life kind of thing or just like you don't understand how it works. My burbs. I got my burbs. <laughs> so yeah, with the flask, I don't know if you've used the flask or not, Tudor, but the... So, like, these stay hot for much, much longer now. And so you have to pull them out. And then drink your hot tea. Stay warm a little bit longer. My fingers feel numb. I think the, see, there, there's a, I don't know how the mechanics with the, with the animal respawn, but I think, like, the longer you live, the, the, the rate of respawn is slower, but they will always respawn. It's just, like, the rate of respawn, like, is, is lower as the longer you survive. I think that's how it works. But that's all the details I know about that. Yeah, the flasks are cool. I, li I really like the flasks. Damn, I'm freezing. So next time, um, next time we will make some broth with our ptarmigan, and probably we'll leave some more uh, for briar house pie at some point. Uh, still need to find deer and rabbit for that though. Got some rabbit right here. Usually some deer will be, well, you know, will pop in every now and then. So um, I probably will make some briar house before we go to Black Rock. But that's the next that's the next step on this on this journey is uh, we're gonna go to Black Rock and try to get the uh, the the ballistics vest. And maybe the noisemakers, aka boom cans, and uh, yeah, and then we'll and then we'll continue on with the signal void stuff. But that's that's days and days away. Those zigzag power points. 
Yeah, why would you do that? I don't know. I don't know why you would do that. It's all over the place, though. Yeah, Blackrock and Bleak Inlet have the Timberwolves. That's right. Absolutely. I have better luck with the Timberwolves in Blackrock than I do with Bleak Inlet ones, though. So I'm not, I don't know, for, for whatever reason, Blackrock doesn't bother me as much. Uh, as far as, like, Timberwolves go, than, than Bleak Inlet. Um, I don't know why. Okay, so we're in the house. We saved it. Um, we have some fire now. We're going to, we'll, we'll start cooking. We're going to start cooking on the, uh, when we start up next time. And, um, yeah, so I, I went over what, what we're doing next. So, uh, so we're just wrapping it up here. Uh, Tudor, glad to have you aboard. Uh, I hope I wasn't too confusing. I hope, uh, good luck out there. Good luck out there. Um, learning the zones and stuff. I'm, I'm jealous because I, I just remember those days of learning all the maps and stuff and uh, it's so exciting. Um, so good luck. Uh, thanks Pest Root Beard for helping out uh, with all that info. And uh, did anyone else pop in? Am I forgetting somebody? If I forgot you, I'm sorry. Um, everyone, as always, take it shabby. We'll see you next time. Actually, let's, let's raid somebody. I don't really raid often, but let's raid. Uh, so we have a handful of people here. Some lurkers, looks like. Um, let's see. This is always a little awkward for me. All right, let's do Waffle Mouse. Okay. There we go. All right, everyone, take it shabby.